Hello and welcome back to the Coder Shop channel, where we simplify order for you. In today's video, we're going to explore how to manage post data checks in order 18. These post data checks are issued for a future specified date. Handling them correctly is crucial for smooth financial operations. By default, Odoo doesn't have a dedicated feature for managing PDCs, but we can effectively handle them using journals. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process step by step. So let's dive right in. To get started, let's head over to the accounting module. From there, go to the configuration menu and click on journals. Journals help us organize financial records, making it easier to track post data checks and other transactions. As you can see, I've already created a journal named Post Data Check. So let's dive into the key settings that matter most. When creating a journal like this, it is important to set the type as bank. Once you save it, Odoo automatically configures the accounting info for you. Under the Accounting Information tab, you'll find the bank account. This is the main account linked to the journal. We can dive inside and configure it more specifically. Next, we have the Suspense Account field. This is where transactions will be temporarily posted until they are fully reconciled. Auto defaults it to this one. If you click on the internal link, we can see that it's set as a current asset type. Moving down to the profit and loss accounts, we see the profit account is labeled cash difference gain and is categorized as an income account. The loss account is used to track expenses and is set as an expense account. On the incoming payment tab, we need to select the payment method as manual and specify the outstanding receipts account. If you open the account's internal link, we can see that its type is set as a current asset. Similarly for outgoing payments, we set the payment method to manual and define the outstanding payments account. Here we can choose the account type as either current asset or liability, depending on how we want to track it. Once everything is set up, let's see how a post data check works in action. We we'll start by going to the customer invoices section and clicking the new button to create a new invoice. First, we'll select a customer and add a product. Let's go with cabinet with doors and set the quantity to 5 units, which brings the total to $805. Next, we'll set the invoice date to today. Since this is a post dated check, we need to update the due date to a future date. Once everything looks good, we'll confirm the invoice, moving its status from draft to posted. Now let's move on to the processing the payment for this invoice. When creating a customer payment, the payment type is automatically set to receive, since it's an incoming payment. If we were handling a post data check for a vendor, the payment type would be set to send instead. Next, we select our customer and enter the amount, which in this case is $805. Since it's a post dated check, we set the due date to a future date. In the memo field will enter PDC for reference. Another important step is selecting the right journal. Here we will choose the post dated check journal we created earlier. Once everything is ready, let's click confirm. After confirming, we can navigate to the journal entries. Where we will see that the payment amount has been credited from accounts receivable and deposited into the PDC receivable account. Now let's move over to the reporting tab and open the general ledger. Here under the PDC receivable account, you'll find the created transaction and the amount will be displayed on the debit side. Next, let's check the partner ledger. Under the related customer, you'll see two entries. One for the invoice and another for the post dated check. The invoice will show the current date while the PDC entry reflects the future date. The amounts will be shown on the credit and debit sides correspondingly. Now let's move on to the customer invoice we created earlier. We need to add the post dated check to the invoice. You can see the outstanding credits over here. All we need to do is click on 
at PDC and the future date and payment amount will be automatically applied. Once we add the PDC, the invoice status will show as in payment. Change it to paid, we need to reconcile the payment. To do this, let's go to the accounting dashboard and head into our post data check journal transactions. Next, we'll create a new statement over here, enter our customer's name, the total amount due, and memo. Then click on add and close. Once we save the statement, we can select both the payment and the statement and validate the reconciliation. At this point, the invoice moves to the pay state, completing the process. And that's it. Now you learned how to manage post data checks in Odoo 18 using journals. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Odoo tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.